How are you people doing? I said, how are you people doing? Let me see some hands, some fists up in the air, everybody. Let me see them up, leave them up. Let me hear some noise.
All right, guys. All right. How you guys doing? All right, guys. How many of you guys have our new CD? That's All awesome. Right. That's right, because every show we played before this, like, five kids had it. So, uh, I guess all five of you from all those other towns came here. So, uh, let me just make something clear. Crystal clear. We love you people. That's right. Thank you for choosing Spot 5 tonight. We hope you have a lovely ride. Hope you enjoy your time with us. It's our time to hang out, our time to kick back with you guys and fellowship a little bit and have some fun. This next song is up for our new album for those of you guys that have it. I wrote the song about my wife. She's right here. Her name's Kelly. We've been married now for uh, a month and three days. And uh, we dated five years, so she's my best friend in the world. So I wrote a song for her. And it goes like this, the song is called, You're the One. I'd like to send this song out to uh, a very special someone in my life, who means more to me than any other human. Our roadie, Scabe OJ, come give me a hug. Here in Spot Pebble, we're all about the love. I don't know if you picked up on that, but we're all about the love. Here's our hearts, we wear them on our sleeves. At any rate, anyway, anyway, this song is called You're the One. It's for my wife and for Skater J. <laughs>
do we got to before we could. So, uh, we stole the title and changed the words. And the music. So, yeah, goes like this. This song's for every one of you guys. This song goes out to our brothers in the dingies. This song's called Forever Young. Of such great bands at Dogwood. Because uh, they're pretty glam. And they play tomorrow, so go see them. Also, who else plays? Oh, um, Maintenance Man plays tomorrow. And someone lost their keys. Go see Maintenance Man tomorrow at 4 30 p.m. Yeah, dude. Uh, or Cletus will beat you up. a wallet and a key. Your keys? Okay. What do they look like? They have a chain on them like that? And a ring? It sounds like a drum on it. That's yours. If you lost your keys, come up after the show and it'll probably be easier to find them. So, uh, we're going to carry on with some rock and roll at hand. Because we know you guys came to rock and to roll. We do a little both in Scott Bowen. Dude, we're the glam rock of the 90s, all right? So, uh, we don't know every glam rock of the 80s song. We pretend we do. We know we make car band. You ever been in car band? We have one guy drums like this, and then go, nah, 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 nah. We're bad, dude. Squad Fubo car band album coming out next uh, month. You guys check it out. It's gonna rock. But, uh, this song is for the, for Dear Ephesus, because they're all about the truth. And, uh, 
I knew albums a lot about spiritual warfare and stuff because I was reading up on that a lot. So uh, this album is, uh, I mean, this song is uh, about that. It's a little song called Fight Back. Oh. It's punk rock. Oh, and props to Candyland. I see you guys out there. All two of you. <laughs> so I thought fight back. It's not called water. Thank you. 
I'm a little contained right now. Someone lost some type of gold ring that's up here. It's got a good deal of mud in it. Here's another song that we wrote. Sorry. I know you guys are all riled up. This next song, all you guys are gonna hate, so just sit down for this one. But it's a song uh, by the third greatest band, third in, the greatest band in the world. Of course, there's Guns N' Roses, Motley Crue, and then who follows them? The Cure. The Cure. So this is a song by The Cure.
the source of all life on earth. Little buddy. Little buddy. Oh, shoot. Hi. This is our new front man. My name's John. Could you stand in between those two monitors? Because I don't want to hit you because you're really cool. Let's hear it for him. What's his name? Jesse? All right, Jesse, you five, bro. That's right, he's WCW. Get out of here with that NWO. Okay, I'm going to Dude, we're all over the love songs tonight, so here's another one. It's a song I wrote for my girlfriend, who's now my wife. <laughs> I'd like to send this one out to my other uh, guy I like a lot, Brad. Our merch guy. Brad, you're not gonna hug John? Skabo hug John. Give me a hug, Brad. Come on, Brad. Yeah. I know your back's not hurt that bad. Brad happens to be Kelly's brother, too, so it's a family thing. Oh. Alright, we have 12 minutes. Song's about side by side. There's 12 minutes.
Or you know, you don't have to get on stage to sing, dude, because you might mess up. I'm just kidding. But it, I just want no mics, nobody singing in the mics, just people singing. Like on a shame, because I want to copy them. Because Jason and Jeff are my heroes. MB. Watch as I put the mic down, watch it means no one get the mic. Here we go. Still stuck. We just got dropped off out front, and uh, if uh, we need a van, so just pray for us. As, uh, if not, we're gonna be playing Cornerstone uh, permanently. So we'll just all live here. Oh, huh? Oh, by the way, it's my friend Rose's uh, 17th birthday. So, uh, Rose, wave your hand here in the red shirt. There you are. Happy birthday, Rose. Uh, this next song's for you. If, uh, I don't know, my bass stuff never breaks. Uh, this could take all night, so, uh, so you guys won't miss MC Hammer. Hold on. Hey, Josh Perry. Who is, what is this? What do you want me to, what am I supposed to say? Call home, what? Oh, you want a skateboard, Josh. You live in Rockford, Illinois. So Josh, if you can hear, is that you? We have the last song, it's kind of a medley, so hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, I just want to thank all you guys for coming out. I hope you guys saw some cool bands. And uh, you guys have been more than kind to of us. Sorry we broke things, but uh, when you rock hard, stuff breaks, and that's our motto. But uh, I want to tell you guys something, man, that uh, I know you've heard a lot of people speak here this weekend. You've seen a lot of bands play. You've heard a lot of music and a lot of talking. Even a lot of overpriced food. God bless them. But, uh, but uh, hey, the Hawaiian shaved ice, that's a good deal. So props to them in some way. But uh, even though not, we're not corporately sponsored by anybody, but um, drink you. And uh, what I want to say is just that uh, you've heard a lot of bands play and a lot of people speak, but uh, I just want to let you guys know that we're here tonight, not just to rock. We might have done a little of that, or we might have just annoyed you a little bit. Or I might be holding you up a little bit, but uh, I just want to tell you guys that we're not here to lead some pep rally for God. We're not here to run some political campaign for our God. We're here to offer you guys something true. I'm not trying to pump you up on a, on a Jesus high. I'm trying to tell you that Jesus Christ is real. He's God incarnate. He was fully God. He was fully human. He walked this earth 2,000 years ago. He went up on a cross and died for you. He died for me. And he died for the people that spit on him and cut him and put the nails through his hands. And he died for his people that disown him. We're not trying to get you riled up and we're not trying to get everybody going, Jesus, Jesus. Dude, God's real. Jesus wasn't a politician. He was a man like you, like me. He loved you and he loved me more than anything that we can ever imagine. He loved me more than I can even love my wife or my dogs, my brothers. And that's a lot. I love my dogs. Yeah, you're after dogs, but I still love you a lot. God loves you more than that, man. It's not some emotional high I want you to get. It's not some, some chant I want you to say. I don't want you to go in some trance. I want you guys to realize that God is real. 
He's here amongst us. He lives in my heart. And if you've accepted him, he lives in your heart. And he'll be there forever. And there's a place for us when we leave this world. And there's a place for us when it's all laid to rest. When this band's over with, when Corner, Cornerstone Festival is over with. If the tornadoes had a hit here and it hadn't have happened, God would have remained good. Because God is good through it all, through the good, through the bad. Through the band breaking down, through the band breaking up. Through two people at a show, through a couple hundred people at a show, you guys are awesome. Jesus Christ loves you whether you know it or not and whether you accept it or not. And he wants you to love him and fellowship with him and be his child. And six years ago, he changed my life. And I wouldn't be on the stage if I didn't believe it. And uh, we love you guys. Thanks a lot. We're going to try to finish up here. And sorry about breaking junk. But uh, this one's for you. And uh, this one's about the body of Christ. It's called United We Stand.